200 days ago, I began an adventure of surviving 100 days on a little sand dune island with nothing but a single piece of bamboo. And 200 days later, I have done so much, but there is still so much to do. This is how I survived 300 days on a 1.20 survival island. If you're going to enjoy the video, please consider giving it a like. And hey, if you decide to subscribe as well, I'll be your best friend. Okay, let's do this. So we began on day 201 with just like the first 100 and 200 days, I decided to do a bit of live commentary whilst I take a quick look around the island. But as you can see by the clip in my editor, there is no audio, meaning that I must have accidentally muted my mic whilst I did this clip. Whatever I was talking about, it did look super important as you could probably tell, but whatever it is, you don't know. Neither will I. But I do know how it ended, with a little bit of a catch-up with Dr. Haven. Back at it again with the white fans, Dr. Haven is back, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's talk. 1.20 has been coming out thick and fast, and the last update when I played on 200 days was the trimming update. They made it so every kind of armor except leather you could add a cool trim to to make the armor look better. Since then, a lot has changed to 1.20, which now includes you can now get trimmings on leather armor. That's not really important to this video, however, there is three new additions to 1.20 that is worth talking about. The first edition is the new mob, the Sniffer. Apparently, you can only get the Sniffer via eggs, which you can find in Suspicious Sand, which is also a new feature. So where do you get Suspicious Sand? Simple, you can find them in desert temples, and you can also find them in desert wells, which, uh, oh, right, I'm stuck in an island, so never mind about that one. And the other addition that they added was the cherry blossom tree, but again, right, the, the island that I'm on is just hoping that a wandering uh -huh. trader can trade them for me. So, yeah, unfortunately, the 1.20 updates, there's nothing I can really do to add to the experience, but that doesn't mean we still can't have a little bit of fun. It was day 202 that I decided that I want to set myself up a mob spawner. To be 100% honest, I decided to hold off against this because I didn't know if it would be very successful, so I decided to set up a nice little simple cobble one. I did get a little bit distracted admittedly. I was looking around the island again, reminding myself what was going on. Some good stuff so far. I also did a tiny little bit of clean up, you know, moving some chests to the gunk to the storage hub, name. Simple stuff, really. It was day 203 when I got back to it. I did run out of cobble, so I decided to set up a little dig area to dig some out. Did alright, I'd say. And then I began the construction. Pretty much it was that the entire day. By the end of the day, I got myself the four water sources in, so progress was definitely being made. And much more progress on day 204. I had now put the floors and the walls in, and yet again, I am out of cobble. At least I can use the slabs for the roof, and I'm out of slabs. Cool. Well, back to the couple grinding guy, I go. On day 205, and listen, if you watch any of my Skyblock videos, you know that I know I know how to do this. And say that three times fast. So after getting the final spots in in the shoot, I was done. Yeah, I was just really hoping that I was able to get this to work. Day 206, and Dr. Haven is back. So, what is the ultimate goal for this 300 day video? That's simple. I want to see about getting a full Neverite set of armor with a trimming of every possible trimming I can get on this island. It's a big task, but I was up for it. Unfortunately, because this island and not all of them are attainable, so let's have a look what we can and can't do. There are 11 trimmings out there. Because of the island, however, the pillager trimming, the jungle temple trimming, the woodland mansion trimming are completely unobtainable. Ocean monuments and shipwrecks, in theory, are obtainable, but that does require me to leave the island, even if I am just staying in the water. And so I'm making the decision to say that I can't leave the island for that, because that feels a little bit against the rules, and so I'm going to say that they are unobtainable as well. For those who are counting, that means six of the 11 trimmings are completely unobtainable. So, let's look at the other five. I already have the Bastion trimming, and I already have one of the End City trimming, so they're all good to go. It's entirely possible for me to get a Never Fortress trimming and an Ancient City trimming. It just requires me to search around to find a new Bastion and an Ancient City, which I haven't found thus far. The Stronghold one is a bit more complicated. If you remember what I said in the first 100 days, I said I didn't want to go to a second Stronghold for an Apple because I thought it broke the rules of me running over the land to find myself a second Stronghold. I still stand by that. I don't want to run to a second stronghold. However, this was in the mindset that I run to the stronghold. There is no rule against me digging to the stronghold. And so I did what any sane man would do. I ran back to the first stronghold, took a note of the quartz. I mean, you want to notice how the quartz are pretty much identical, which I thought was pretty cool. And then I ran back to the overworld and noted the coordinates of my island. Basically, the plan was to find a second stronghold 
by digging to it. Since the first stronghold was to the northeast, if I dig southwest, I should be able to find myself a new stronghold. It's a crazy plan, but I'm all for it. So I started grabbing myself necessary tools, stuff that I needed, and it was back underground I'd go on day 207. The plan was to run as far as I can through the caves, going southwest, of course, and then to throw an eye. And after running through the caves as far as I can go, I threw an eye, and would you look at that, it started going west. It is now time for me to dig very far. As I was digging, on day 208, I just want to point something out. This is the corners of the stronghold, and here are my corners. So it's safe to say that I had plenty of digging to do. In fact, one and a half hours passed on day 212, and well. Oh my god! <coughs> oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. Um, chests. And so I began the search. And after searching a couple of chests, I'm not gonna lie, I got nervous. Very much so. But after finding myself the library. <sighs> Freedom. That's a really good book. Oh, two. Cool. And now I just gotta run back. It's definitely gonna take a minute if I did, though. So why not, why not just run through the nether? And so I find myself a lava pool and... Huh, hot stuff. I can't believe it took me that long to get that achievement. But here we are. Anyway, it was into the nether. It literally saved so much time. Here we are on day 213. And literally after a minute or so, I found myself the main portal. I was easily able to make the four templates needed. But I also remembered that I need a purple block to duplicate the end city trimmings, of which I have zero in. And so at some point, I'm gonna have to return to the end for purple blocks. Yeah, I know. Well, for now, let's see about getting some of the other trimmings out of the way. Let's go and find ourselves a never fortress. Day 214, and honestly, it didn't take me that long at all. At first, I got myself a wither skull, which was pretty nice. And if we're going to talk about YouTube look for a second, let's open our first chest and... Oh, there isn't one in here. That wasn't part of the script. It's all right, though. This chest that was protected by two wither skeletons did have one. YouTube look finally coming back. And by the time I got back on day 215 and... Hey, there's a wandering trader there. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I was just complaining about my YouTuber look. The new cherry tree sapling is here. And I know the perfect spot to put it. Right on the grass island. Aren't they pretty? Well, let's chop them up. Also, a little bit of a side note. Now, this cherry tree blossom has just been introduced in this version of Minecraft. These things drop so many saplings. It is crazy. Day 216, and I made myself four smithing templates. We are good to go. Now, I didn't want to make a big deal about it, but I also did get a spruce sapling too when I got the cherry tree blossom. I unfortunately didn't really have anywhere I wanted to put it and so I decided why not just make a new island and well put it there. After looking for a new spot to put my island I saw a drowned with a trident. Now I didn't get the trident which you know I didn't that doesn't really bother me that much but I don't know how but look at this new animation the drowns have. Now I don't have any texture pack on but that looks really cool. I think this is a new thing for 1.20 which is kind of cool. I decided to put it next to the bridge unfortunately it does require me to do a little bit of adjustment to fix the bridge and so I need a little bit of bamboo, which of course reminded me that there was something else I wanted to do. I want to make myself an automatic bamboo farm. So scrapping the plan for the island on day 217, the plan was to make a simple farm for the bamboo. I set up a rail underneath the sand to pick up the bamboo and well, you know the rest. Most of the day was just setting up the machine as well as moving the bamboo over to the new location. And on day 218, well, there was a little bit of pistons here, a little bit of observers over there and a tiny bit of bamboo in the middle and voila, it is small. And I could probably make it much bigger later. But for right now, it does exactly what I needed to do. And then I remembered, oh yeah, I know why I made this thing. I need to get a bunch of bamboo to finish the bridge. And so after making a small adjustment, I bridged over. Had to wait to day 219 to complete it. But there you go. It's honestly not too bad. And would you look at that island over there? I will officially dub it Cherry Blossom Island. It is so pretty. Speaking of pretty islands, I wanted to turn the Spruce Tree Island into, well, an island. At the moment, it's really nothing. And so I quickly grabbed some grass. I also grabbed some dirt and some some sands and I got to work. I'm gonna be honest with you, I had no idea what I was doing here. It was just a classic winged approach, the usual. Took all of day 220, but I, oh, you know what? I like it. I think it's an island. It looks pretty good. Day 221 was pretty much just adding the final touches. I added a nice little waterfall to it. I got some grass. You know what? Yeah, I think it looks really good. Unfortunately, I can't call it Spruce Tree Island without, you know, spruce trees, and so I grabbed some of those too. We'll ignore the fact that the island is hollow. Nobody talk about that, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I really like it. I think it's looking good. 
good. And now for a surprising problem. I had no food. But lucky for me, I had plenty of carrots still in my automatic farm. Unfortunately for me, I had no gold left over. And so my golden carrot run was officially over. Very sad, I know. Anyway, with these little tasks done, it is time we do the biggest plan of all. Take it away, Doctor. I swear to God, Doctor Haven needs a theme song. I mean, I mean, I need a theme song. Hey, let's move on. So, let's talk Neverite. The big goal, as I mentioned, is I want to get a full Neverite armor set up with every kind of trimming I possibly can. But what exactly do I need to pull that off? What, how much materials and stuff will I need? Well, first, let's look at Neverite. Knowing that four pieces of ancient debris makes one Neverite ingot, and four ingots of Neverite make a full set of armor, it just requires me to get 16 pieces of Neverite ingots. I don't need the fifth trimming because I've already done that, but I do need four full trimmings, which means I need 16 Neverite ingots, which is 64 pieces of Neverite scraps. I also need 64 gold, but honestly, that's not going to be that important. What is important, however, is the diamonds that I need. I am going to need a full suit of diamond armor for each Neverite setup. Now, of course, that means I need four full setups of diamond armor. For those who don't know, you need 24 diamonds for a full set of diamond armor. So that's 96 diamonds that I need for that. I do already have one piece of leggings, one chest plate, and one boots. So we could take a couple off that, which is now 77 diamonds I need for the armor. However, we are not done. Because if you don't know, if you want to duplicate a trimming, you need seven diamonds to do that. And I need to duplicate a lot of trimmings. And considering I only have two out of the five trimmings, Trimmings fully done, I need to dupe the other three times each. Seven times three is 21. So that is 63 diamonds for all trimmings. Adding that 63 to the 77 diamonds that I already need, and I need 140 diamonds for all of the trimmings and the diamond armor. However, we ain't even close to done because now we need to talk about upgrading the diamond armor to Everite armor because you now need a Neverite upgrader to do that. And of course, you will need to duplicate that as well, which you guessed it requires seven diamonds diamonds per trimming upgrade. Considering I need to do that for four full sets of diamond armor, that's 16 Neverite upgrades that I am going to need to pull this off, which means I'm going to need to duplicate the Neverite upgrade 15 times. So that means I need an extra 105 diamonds for that. Adding that onto the original number, that is 245 diamonds in total. For those who want to do the maths, that is three stacks and 62 diamonds. That's just for all of it. But actually, I'm not done because what I'm going to want to do is get one more trimming of each of them just in case I want them for the future. Which means I need to duplicate the four trimmings one more time. Four times seven is 28. Which means the total number of diamonds adding on to the 245 that I originally needed is 243 diamonds. Or four stacks and 17 diamonds. Are there any questions? Did you follow along? It will be on the final exam. I need a lot of diamonds. There is some good news though. I already have 41 diamonds on me. So that 273 now goes down to 232. Oh boy, I need a drink after that one. And so on all the twos, I went back underground and I was going to start strip mining. This was pretty much going to be my life for a while. About an hour into digging on day 225 and well, deep dark. Interesting. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Now I'm just going to find me uh, one of those trimming boys. Look carefully though, I'm going to have to where to go back. I'm not going to lie, I wasn't very careful here. I was running around spawning wardens. At least my luck was with me because after searching my first chest, I have found the ancient city trimming. And then I stupidly opened more. Okay, I think I got away. My god, that was terrifying. And I got the trimming. Let's go. Also, seven diamonds. Technically. So yeah, good stuff. And so once I left the ancient city, it was pretty much then on to Strip Mine City. Basically, between day 226, for a very long time, I was mining all the diamonds I could. Never been so grateful for fortune, but here we are. So I have nearly been strip mining for about three hours, just under. It's been about two and a half or so. Um, I am very grateful that uh, YouTube exists or I'll be bored out of my mind. That being said, let us let me show you where I am. Um, I'm in the in the last stretch. Uh, if I've done my maths correctly, so obviously you knocked the seven from the thing. I need four stacks and ten diamonds, which means I'm only 14 diamonds short from completing this task, which is relieving to say the least. I, I think I'll be done in the next diamond vein. 
I have found another Asian city. Great. Probably be done by the next diamond vein, I'm hoping. So we shall see. Here's hoping that I find that diamond vein soon. You know what? I'm going to find it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, watch Haven and just get his YouTube look. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it's right here. I am wrong. It's actually right here. It was a good try. Anyway, let's, let's mine. By the time we was done, it was day 234, where, uh, well, 64, 64, 64, 64, 27, and 7. That works out to 290 diamonds, which is uh, more than enough for everything I wanted to do. So now that we're done, uh, I should go back. I do want to quickly check one thing. I don't want to accidentally leave this without the thing that I need. It's this one. Oh, it's just deep sleep. And I returned on day 235. I was back. And boy, was I happy to not have to mine any more diamonds. And now I've got to cook myself some food. And that's when I realized that the uh, golden apple that I found in the ancient city wasn't just a golden apple. It was an enchanted golden apple, which I thought was pretty cool. And just like that, I have now gotten all of the trimmings. All three of them maxed out, which only leaves the end one. As a reminder, I need to get the purple block, which I have not. And there is no time like the present, so I can't believe I returned to the end to get a single purple block. Block, block, okay, we move on. I got into the outer end by day 236. I'm not gonna lie, it was just a bit of a trek until I found myself an end city. And it didn't take me too long at all to find myself the end city. It was day 237, and I got myself a stack of purple blocks. Okay, goodbye. And on day 238, would you look at that? We had gotten ourselves all the trimmings. And now we just need to find ourselves a bastion to get the upgrade packs for the Neverite, and we will be good to go in no time. But for now, I definitely need a break from doing that. So I decided to have a quick look around at my islands. I still have to say it. Blossom Island looks really good. I also had a look on day 239 of the bamboo and uh, would you look at that? That's not too shabby at all. Now I should definitely collect some cherry wood. However, because there were so many trees on here, when I tell you this took a while, well, this took a while. There is so much wood. So much wood. And by the time I was done, would you look at that? Look how many logs I got. Jesus, there was a lot here. And why did I collect this wood? Well, on day 240, I wanted to set myself up a build to show off my Neverite armor in the near future. Now, I've never worked with this wood palette before, would you believe? I mean, here's a brand new wood, so I was honestly just messing around for a while, just deciding what does and doesn't look good. By day 241, I had the inside completed. I'm gonna be honest with you, I quite liked it. I thought it looked pretty good. And then it was onto the walls, and I'll be honest with you, the walls was a real bit of a hassle. It took me forever to get the walls looking how I like them, have like looking good, and I'm to be honest with you, I don't even think it looked fantastic by the end of it. And on day 242, it was onto the roof. Now, luckily for me, most of the roofs on this island have a similar-ish build on the roof, so it wasn't too hard to just copy that style. And we are donezo. Just the final touch. Let's put some cherry leaves in the roof and add the petals falling. Really think it added to the build. Just gotta put me in some lanterns. I mean, it's not a haven. We've got over this. It's not a haven build if I don't put in lanterns. On day 243, I noticed that the bamboo farm occasionally was having pieces fall out or fall on the wall so it wasn't catching it all. And so I decided to put some more wooden planks on top of it to make it fall out. I really want to make this look better in the near future, but for right now, this is all it really needs to be. And then for no other reason than I just wanted to, I decided that I wanted to make my bow power five. Did break my anvil though. RIP, that was the first anvil and only anvil that's been made on this world. I didn't even have enough iron to replace it, which definitely sucks, which uh, did give me an idea though that why haven't I made an iron farm yet? I should definitely do that. Do I have a name tag though? Would I? Oh, I do have a name tag. All right, let's do this. It was day 244 where I was following a simple YouTube tutorial on how to do this. I started gathering the blocks needed and putting them in this shulker. I was done except for beds where uh, only one wool, hmm? Well, luckily for me, I knew the entire time that shepherds actually traded beds, and I didn't totally miss that in the last video, so let's uh, let's not point that out and poke fun at Haywin. That'd be sad. Just need to get some good trades where um, shears, huh? Well, I guess I'm, I'm in need of shears and... They trade wool? Since when I looked at the screenshot, they did not trade wool in the last 100 days. I don't know what you can say. You know what? It doesn't matter, though. I was able to trade myself a bunch of beds, and it is time to work on the iron farm. Day 245, and even with the bamboo increase, I have no idea how a bamboo managed to get all the way up there, and so I started making it even higher. Let's start building this. And to be honest with you, with the iron farm, it was pretty much just a case of following the tutorial, so this was a middle kind of boring. Let's skip ahead. And two days later, this is what we have got. Now, as far as I'm aware, I've already seen it work, so I'm hoping, I think you can already see it working. Is that, I ain't got all of it is. But this has been running for literally five minutes. 
look at that look at that bad boy this is this is great and uh yeah i can now just leave that to basically generate myself some iron never have to go iron caving again which is fantastic so i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you lovely viewer at home uh i've sort of just been like delaying because the next two tasks wherever it be to search for bastions or wherever it be to search for neverite are both going to be extremely long tasks so i just keep doing little tasks to sort of distract myself like that which for the record i don't think i've seen it work once also i really don't oh actually there is a single mob in there unfortunately this is not working how i would like it to which is a which is a darn shame but i mean i kind of expected it to not work built this which at the moment kind of looks terrible but to be fair it's working like a charm this thing is shooting out bamboo but i think i've delayed it long enough i made myself four full sets of diamond armor and uh well, once I have this set with it as well, that will fill out the five armor sands in the pink house of loveliness. But yeah, soon enough, I will have my five armor sets. Um, I mean, there's, quite frankly, there's no way for me to, to go about it other than to just do it. So, I have one idea. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but it'll do. Oh, you can give me paintings? I'll buy, I'll buy some paintings. Not too shabby. I have a lot of, a uh, lot of wool. So, bed bombing in the nether will be good. One thing worth noting, and I will definitely note it, is that in the nether chest, I do have three netherite scraps. So, that means I only need 61. I am gonna go into the nether and get 61 pieces of ancient debris. On day 248, I spent the next two days bed bombing. And well, listen, I have always been an advocate that mining has been better than bed bombing, but I decided to try bed bombing as a change. Um, you'd think that it would go well for me. You think. Like, I'm literally halfway done my bed. I haven't got a single piece of it. Uh, that was wrong. So, <laughs> this is my last bed. Moment of truth. Yep, nothing. So, after all of that bed bombs, Probably about maybe 50 beds. I did not get a single piece of Asian debris. That was a complete and utter waste of time. I cannot believe I didn't get a single piece. Well, I'm just going to go back to the classic way. Of course. Of course. 30 seconds into mining, like, naturally. And, of course, I find some Asian debris. I mean, it's... It would have worked. Just whatever. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> now, usually when I go Neverite mining, I only need 24 pieces of ancient debris to get it. That's enough for six ingots. That's all I need. However, in this case, I need 61 pieces, which is nearly triple the amount. So this was definitely going to take a minute. Now, earlier in this series, it took me nine Minecraft days to get 24 pieces of ancient debris. So when I tell you that in 13 days, I got 61, that honestly felt like a massive win. I was finding ancient debris like great and by day 263 i got myself back and even after all this work i still am not done that's crazy it was great to at least see the neverite cook and just like that i have obtained 16 pieces of neverite now this is 1.19 we'd be done here we can make all the armor and that there you go but uh no we're not now we're gonna find ourselves a new new bastion so on day 264 mamma mia here we go again it's good musical so i need to find myself a new bastion as i say the the problem is I've searched quite a lot around me, so uh yeah, I gotta head out quite far. So we have ventured far. It's uh, day 266, so I've been going for a good 40 minutes. And uh, my coordinates are I'm about to reach about a thousand over a thousand blocks away from my main portal. So this is definitely new terrain area. Um uh, I'm just gonna keep going until I find Sebastian. I have nothing else to do in here, really. I thought about it as well. And maybe I'll do this next. But if I could get myself a Lytra and a bunch of fireworks, this would be so much easier to travel. Now I already have an Elytra and getting like mending and stuff on it wouldn't be too bad, but getting a bunch of fireworks to do it, it would be kind of a pain. I don't really have an easy access to gunpowder and I ain't about to build a gunpowder farm because the last time I did that it worked out terribly. I probably have some gunpowder left over from my days over here but besides the point we have to run around for probably a while looking for this bastion so uh yeah get comfy people I could be in here for a while. Still going on day 267 this is uh definitely gonna take a minute. Oh now from what I know, the Neverite upgrade has a chance of spawning in any bastion, but it has a 100% chance of spawning in a treasure bastion. What is a treasure bastion? I have no idea. So I'm hoping this is one of them. But I guess we'll have a look around and see what we could find. Well, I'm pretty sure that's the last chest in here, and uh, there is no Never upgrade. So, oh, we we'll have to keep going. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh! 
Thank the Lord himself. Oh, oh, silk touch. Nice. Oh, it's over. Thank God it's over. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I just got it. I just got it. You are not killing me now. Okay. Ooh, that was only slightly scary. What day are we on? 279. We have traveled over 3,000 blocks to get to this point, but uh, here we are. I don't think this was the way I came or whatever. So I'm pretty sure I set off the equivalent of 15 Minecraft days ago. And obviously you can't sleep in the nether. So that means that's what, 20 times 15? Been about four hours, I would say, since since I began this crazy venture. Probably longer now that I think about it. But the point is, we're done. And we can finally head back home, which is this way. Like I say, the other problem is, though, is that I'm very far out. So you'll have to give me a minute. I'm so close. Ah, oh, portal. You have no idea how happy I am right now. It took so long. It has been exactly 20 Minecraft days. But we are home. We are home. Oh, it's been forever since I've seen these luscious lands. And we got it. The Neverite upgrade template. This is going to be a good minute. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. So I believe it's just... Is it with Neverack? No, this is the wrong way. It is. There we go. 20. I have 20. Oh my god. I cannot believe I'm finally doing this. Oh, man, here we go, then. So, what do I know? So, you, you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Legendary. All right, then, we're done with you. I've also decided I'm going to make each one of them, like, their own color. So, we'll start with the eye, and we're going to make you purple, I guess. Helmet, chest plate, leggings, boots. One done. Uh, spire uh, will make you gold. Helmet, chest plate, leggings, boots. Perfect. Ward will use emeralds. Helmet, chest plate, leggings, boots. And then rib, we have redstone for helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. There we go. There's only one other quick thing I want to do. Now, I'm never going to actually use this armor in the in the grand scheme of things, but anything that doesn't have a level on it, I just want to quickly get an enchant just for the effect. And it took so very long. So very... You have no idea how long it took. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and we... You know what? I'll even, I'll even throw in my armor as well, just so I could show it all in one go. And would you look at that? Would you look at that? This is my life work. This is it. Ladies and gentlemen, I kind of feel like I've done all right here. I mean, you guys are welcome to disagree with me. I might probably change these signs to make them look a little bit better. But right now, I think I've done all right. I think that this is pretty good. But also definitely going to change it. I don't like the way this looks, so let me quickly go ahead and fix that. On day 284, I replaced all the signs with hanging signs. It did take me a second because of formatting. But, you know, we got there in the end. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You know what, what would be cool, and I don't think I would be able to do it, is if I could change the color of the signs, like writing, so I have, like, yellow for this one, or red for... Actually, I think I would be able to. I'm going to go see if I could do that. Oh, my God. Okay, uh... Second. Ugh. And so I grabbed myself some red dye and some yellow dye. Blue dye wasn't an issue either, and lime dye wasn't an issue either. You see, I am fully aware you can cook this to get lime dye. I was fully aware last time. I didn't want lime. I wanted green. I still appreciate you guys all pointing out in the comments, though. And purple was really easy as well. And would you look at that? Also, just a quick check on the iron farm. Things were going really, really good. And quickly going back to the comments that you all put earlier, a lot of people told me that with the beacons, if I put yellow glass on top of blue glass, it would make green. And and, uh, you, you call that green, guys? Really? I mean, I tried it the other way around. It didn't work. Uh, I, think you might, I think you guys are wrong on this one, unless I'm making a mistake. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely not green. I head back underground on day 286. Of course I needed dirt. I mean, why else would I head underground? I wanted to make a new new island, and lucky for me, there was a bounty of dirt down here. So, uh, not gonna struggle for this one whatsoever. Day 287, I had a nice little square in. I had some fence posts and some hills, and now I just gotta make it look, well, islandy. And it's not perfect. In fact, it's probably the worst of the islands that I have. 
but this is what I got. I made this little bridge over there. And uh, yeah, it's just a, it should be a nice little place for the chickens to hang out. You know how it is. Uh, well, there's still a beach biome. Uh, speaking of, let me, let me go grab my chicken friends. And just like that, our chicken army begins. I need to give King Pedro a throne. I'll be right back. This is a throne for a king. There you go, the world's smallest throne. And the only person who's not on the throne is the king. So, uh, yeah. Are we all firstly done with uh, Chicken Island? Uh, I feel like uh, maybe there's some more I can add to in the future. But as far as we're, the chickens should be able to get out of that. But yeah, I think that's probably going to be the last build on the on the server for for this video so i guess i'm gonna go back to a uh, map building I need to get another layout of the land and build my 300 days map day 291 and i did just that getting myself four maps i made a 300 map board but this time out of cherry wood i fancied a change i don't know before i did lock them in though i knew i needed to get some paths down almost forgot to do that one not gonna lie so it was back to deep slating and putting them down on day 292 i did have one cool idea if i can get myself some banners i can put the names of the locations on the map and i feel like that'd be a really cool add to the world took me until the next day to complete it and now i was done and then on day 294 i didn't want the banners just sitting around the island so i decided to take them all down don't worry though they will stay on the map and with that we were done well ladies and gentlemen i think we've done it all 294 Fine. This is the day that we do our final island tour. And I mean final because I didn't expect to get to 300. No way in the world I'm getting to 400. Let's let's do a little bit of a tour, why don't we? Let's start on this side of the island first. We'll work our way over here and then move to the left. Obviously the never poor don't look at that. But this, this actual building, I'll give you a little bit of a fun fact. I was actually trying to make it look a little bit like a helmet. Um, obviously I don't think you really pulled off that well, but there, what can you do? My five grey armor sets, the eye trim with, uh, amethyst, the war trim with emeralds, the snout trim, which is the trim that I have been using with diamonds on, the rib trim with the redstone, and the spire trim with the gold. I love this building. The little petal effects from the roof really help to it. It's really simple. It's a really simple build, but, uh, you know, to have it be the build that really shows off, you know, everything that I've pretty much worked on. This has been half of my work has been this one building and everything inside of it. I, I love it. Pigstep dance, don't worry, we'll come back. The Alcrazy trees, I don't even think I touched this time. Obviously, we still got the axolotls and the storage hut, the enchanter, all that's kind of the same. Uh, but the, these two things are the two new ones. A lot of what I've done this 100 days is I basically uh, automated everything. I, I mean, I filled it up with bamboo. That's how good this has been. And just a reminder, it only goes too high. I mean, I can't even look into it anymore because it's that high. This thing great tutorial shout out to the person who made it um plenty of, like the iron has been streaming in it's been streaming in even when i've not been looking at it it's a really simple design i'll have to remember that design for future builds and stuff this is the big disappointment of the 100 days is the the mob grinder it just didn't really work i'm gonna be honest with you when i built it i wasn't 100 percent confident it was gonna work the idea was if i build it over the ocean maybe it would help a bit mob grinders really only work in worlds that are incredibly limited on spawns and this world has an entire will to spawn and even if i am just on this small island i said at the end of the 200 days that i really wanted to add more to this house to make it look better but i just never did i, I don't mind it's fine so this is where we started on day 100 with uh, the the farms there and literally what one two builds there's an auto cooker that pig step area and the farms we, we we built up quite a bit you know improving the farms i mean even the, the melons added a couple more builds like the villager hood and the storage hut even made a bridge to this farm and you know still stuff's there but if we look at it now oh my there's just so much there's so much on here you know we've added we changed the bamboo farm the iron farms there we put the ort we put the <laughs> i literally named it the broken mob grinder because it is we have King Pedro's Island, the Spruce Island, and the Cherry Tree Island. Um, there's just so much on this island now that I've done. This is the most amount of work I think I've put into a series. Obviously, we can't, you know, pass up the, the thing without at least getting high to our king. Where is our king? There he is, King Pedro. All hail. Uh, this is the stupidest. I can't believe it. Oh, uh, Spruce Tree Island is just a nice little island that I feel like adds to it. I was thinking about doing like similar to what I did for Cherry Tree Island by having a bunch of spruce trees, but honestly, I just like it if it's just limited. And then, of course, Cherry Tree Island, which... Let me just say, ooh, enemy. let me just say, I, I I kind of blasted through this 100 days. I've done a lot of it over the past week. These cherry trees, obviously, I imagine they'll get changed because the amount of saplings that drop from them is crazy, but I love the cherry trees so much. I think they're so cool. We're done. That's it. That's 300 days in, you know, very soon time 
Honestly, I'm just gonna kill the time until we get there. Like, compared to where this island started with, look how much we have done. Again, I don't think I'll get to 400 days. This series has been fantastic, though, and I'm really grateful to, um, you know, get to Survival Island out there. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you have watched... 100, 200, or if this is your first 300, if you're somehow still at the end of this video, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. It has been a privilege and an honor to start 2023 on this island and just to have everything work so well. It's It's been fantastic, a fantastic start to the year. But yeah, I mean, there's there's not really much else to say. There, there really, really isn't. I, I'm sort of back in the same spot as I was at the end of 200 where, um, you know, <laughs> I, I, I've done everything I wanted to do a couple days early and it was a bit of a grind at times getting the Neverite and the trimmings and everything, but I, I, I gotta admit, this, this I've loved this series. It's been my favorite long-term series out of every 100 days. Um, And who knows? Who knows? Again, I'll ask again because I did last time. If if you get this video to about 5k likes just like you did the last one i'll do 400 days i'll do 400 and then we'll do 500 and if we get to 500 i'll make you this deal if you get if, if we get to 5k likes and we get to 400 and then let's say we get to 5k likes and we get to 500 after 500 i'll do a thousand i don't think that will happen prove me wrong people this small island that looks like india could potentially have 1000 days survived on it i don't think i'll get there but if i do I'm sure we can find some stuff to do. Alright then, I guess it's time for us to, uh... Wait, look. Oh my god, there's a Siamese cat in there. There's another cat. I should get some fish. I'm sure I've got some. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you should eat the perfect spot as well. Let's go. Guess we'll, uh, wait to 300. And wait for it. Wait for it. Day 300. We did it, boys! And, and girls, and those who, you know, don't really have a prep. You, you know you are, you non-binary SOPs. And, uh, well... I mean, I ended 100 days like this. I ended 200 days like this. So you know for a fact, I'm ending 300 days like this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. See you in whatever video comes next. Dun, 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 dun.